Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video I am showing you, how to make a multi-boot USB drive for different types operating systems. Open website ventoy.net This download tab you can go to download page. Tested ISO tab you can see the Ventoy tested ISO file names of Windows and Linux versions. Ventoy is an open source tool to create bootable USB drive for ISO files. With Ventoy, you don't need to format the disk again and again, you just need to copy the ISO file to the USB drive and boot it. You can copy many ISO files at a time and Ventoy will give you a boot menu to select them. Both legacy BIOS and UEFI are supported in the same way. More than 260 ISO files are tested. Click on Download tab. Click this 4.5 MB Windows version, it will be redirect to github.com. You can see the versions of Ventoy application. If you want the old version, scroll down the page. Click on New Version Ventoy. Scroll down this page. Click on Ventoy Windows version, it will be downloaded. After download, extract zip file. Connect the USB flash drive that you want to make bootable, it will be formatted. Open extracted folder, double click on ventoy2disk.exe file. If you receive Windows Defender smart screen, click on more info, then run anyway. If you receive user account control message, select yes. This device tab showing connected USB drive. You can see my 16 GB USB drive here. Click install, now showing the warning message that is, the disk will be formatted and all data will be lost, Contine click yes, showing same message again, click yes again. Now finished format and installation of Ventoy, then OK. Close the application. Now USB name changed to Ventoy, USB is blank. Just copy .iso files to here. I have three ISO file, Windows 7, Windows 10 and Ubuntu Linux, I need to copy this. Select all. Right click and copy. Then go to flash drive and paste it. All three operating systems are now bootable. Let me check that. Change to first boot device to USB flash drive. Now showing 3 OS first Ubuntu ISO, second Windows 10 and last one Windows 7 ISO. 
First I select Ubuntu, now start Ubuntu installation. Cancel that. Now I select Windows 10, it also OK. Thanks for watching my videos, subscribe me if you like this channel and please share if you like the video.